So tonight marks the start of Passover, one of the most important Jewish holidays. And while it traditionally is a time for celebration, this year has a much different tone because of the war in the Middle East. Fox News' Sharon Crowley joining us to show us how religious leaders are having to adjust their messages in tonight's Finding Faith. There's a heavy cloud over the entire Jewish world as we sit down to celebrate this festival of freedom. We're very concerned about Israel's security. New York City Rabbi Emil Hirsch leads the Stephen Wise Free Synagogue on the Upper West Side. This Passover, his mind and heart are occupied by the war in the Middle East and the hostages still in captivity. We grieve every day for the hostages. They're still something like 130 hostages uh, who are being held in dungeons. And the rabbi tells me he understands that these are difficult times that we're in right now, but he doesn't want people to lose hope. Passover is the festival of hope, and it's not dumb hope. It's not fake hope. It's real hope in the faith in uh, the human condition and those forces of liberty and freedom who eventually will prevail. <laughs> We never lose our hope. I mean, we're always hopeful and optimistic despite of the deep challenge that we are facing. Imam Shamsi Ali leads the Jamaica Muslim Center, a mosque in Queens. The Muslim holy month of Ramadan just ended, and he, like the rabbi, are concerned about the rise of hate speech spreading on college campuses. I can see the level of uh, emotions in, the, in, 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 in our community, uh, not only in student campuses but also in the community in general. And that is my responsibility as a religious leader to, re to remind them that religion is always, you know, about peace and love and compassion. The imam says he will be reminding the faithful in these times of his guiding principle. To fight against Islamophobia, it is completely not fair without fighting anti-Semitism. Because I see Islamophobia and anti-Semitism as two sides of the same coin. Sharon Crowley, Fox 5 News.